pretty pretty awesome right and let me tell you it's completely free and it's so so responsive it's perfect if you want to play games or you can do whatever you like yeah let's dive right into it hey what is going on everybody i'm riz and in this video i'm going to show you how you can connect your android phone to your pc or your laptop completely free no need to root yeah let's dive right into it all right, in order to do this, we're gonna be using one of the best tools I've ever used, Mirror 2 from iMyPhone. By the way, all the links and everything will be in the description box below, so just quickly go to the website, given in the description again, and download it for free. As you can see on your screen, you have option to free download, so just click on it, and it should automatically download it for you. Once the download is complete, it's really simple installation, nothing fancy. I've done this before, so I really can't install it again. All right, open it up, and before actually doing this, let me show you some settings. If you go to the settings and go to the general settings, you have options for changing audio input and picture quality. And if you go to the multimedia settings, you have options like changing what resolution you want to record your uh, screen in. You, yes, you can record your phone screen with this tool. You can also change directory as well. Also, you can go full screen. All right, so now everything is done. You are happy, let's connect the phone. You can connect your phone using your USB type C or any USB that you use for your charging. Once you connect, once you connect your phone, it should show you what phone it is. In this case, as you can see, it's Redmi Note 10, and just click OK, and it's gonna do its thing. All right, so I've never done this before because I'm, I'm, I don't use Android, it's that simple. Okay, so just let it do its thing, and it's gonna show you clear instructions on what to do next. All right, so it's asking me to enable debugging, I mean USB debugging on my phone. So it actually shows the Xiaomi instructions because I act, this is my Xiaomi phone, and if you have Samsung, this is gonna show you Samsung instructions, and doesn't matter the brand, it's gonna show you the accurate instructions specifically for your phone okay so just follow along as we are about to do the same just follow the instructions and you should be good and if you have enabled already you really don't need to follow the step you can skip it all right so i'm doing this for the first time and i can tell you one thing i am following the instructions they are so good all right so it says i have to go to the about section of the phone and inside the about section i have to go to the old specs and inside the alt pack, I have to click on the version for eight times until I'm a developer. As you can see on the bottom of the screen, I am a developer. So go back to the settings, go all the way down and go to the additional settings. Once you're in the additional settings, go to the developer options and make sure your developer options is enabled and go all the way and enable USB debugging. And I, I've seen a lot of people in a, automatically like they don't even they don't need you don't need to follow the step by the way if you are in if you have enabled usb debugging on your phone so just click ok it's going to show you a warning message i mean depending on your brand it says uh mine says i have no idea what it says but that is and as you can see it's connecting now it actually detects your phone that it's connecting to. So just click OK again on your computer. As you can see, I said click OK, and it's gonna ask you one more time on your phone. It should ask you one more time on your phone. Okay, so just, just make sure you click OK. Just wait for it, wait for it. Taking a bit, as you can see, there you go. It's asking me to, it's, it's, it's asking for a permission. Just click OK, and right after that, that should be it. There you have it. We are connected to the computer. You can use a laptop if you want to. You can use whatever PC you like, okay? So we are connected. It's so, so good. It's so responsive. I've never seen anything like that. It's so responsive. You can you, ha you have a lot of options, by the way. You can play games if you want to. You can play, uh, you can have a camera. You can use it even a webcam, to be honest. By the way, uh, that tutorial, coming up pretty soon so don't forget to subscribe okay all right so you can play games as i said before i am playing among us i have not updated it yet so it's a black screen i'm sorry about that as i said before you can go full screen you can play games and you can also use your camera that's just just awesome it's just like icing on the top of the cake to be honest that was probably one of the best features i found it's just so good if you want to stream on Twitch and you don't have a camera, you can do this, to be honest. You can use a camera as a webcam. Pretty awesome, right? Well, this is it for me. By the way, I do have an endnote. Uh, so, yeah, let's, I'll, I'll see you there. I'll see you there.
All right, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I hope you liked the tutorial. And if you have any questions, do let me know in the comment section below. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, be sure to subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.